guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make potato gnocchi. Now, you can make this recipe. I have a recipe on my website, and I have a video here on YouTube just called Gnocchi, and you can watch it. It's me and my nonna making potato gnocchi, which is our family recipe that I've eaten my whole life. But do you know that you can make that with leftover mashed potatoes? Which is what we're going to do today, because leftover mashed potatoes that are cold and dry and I don't like leftover reheated mashed potatoes, make for delicious gnocchi. So that's what we're gonna work on today, and the only ingredients you need to make the dough is your leftover mashed potato and some all-purpose flour, and then you're also going to need whatever you wanna dress it with. So I'm gonna use my regular good old marinara sauce and Parmesan cheese. You can use any sauce you like. The idea is to show you that you can take mashed potatoes and turn them into something fabulous like gnocchi. So let me show you what I have here. This is mashed potato. You see this? This is just a little bit of the stuffing because when we had our Thanksgiving dinner, which I made a Thanksgiving dinner the other day just so that I could have all the leftovers to share with you, but we did enjoy Thanksgiving dinner a little early. You know, some people use the same spoon to grab the stuffing and that's fine, but you see how smooth this is? I use a potato ricer to make my mashed potatoes because I like them lump free. Um, as long as they're really smooth, you are good to go. These are really well seasoned. If your potatoes are not very well seasoned, you're gonna need to add some additional salt here. But I don't need to do that because mine have plenty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the flour on my clean work surface, add your mashed potatoes. If you've ever made potato gnocchi before, then you know what I'm working with and you know what I'm doing. But it's super easy. What you're gonna do is by hand, you're gonna just work on incorporating all of this flour and it looks like it's never gonna work but it is you just need to be very patient and just keep kneading until all of your flour is incorporated and what I have here is a baking sheet with some with, lined with a lint free kitchen towel and it is sprinkled with some flour so that it's ready for the gnocchi so I'm just gonna keep kneading and mix it this is gonna take a good four to five minutes so be patient and keep kneading until it, your dough comes together. This dough is the dough of potato gnocchi dreams. Now, this is half, because look, I did already half of them, but I wanted to just to show you how beautiful and soft and pliable it is. So here's what you do. You take a piece, um, if you were to round it up, it'll be about the size of a golf ball. Lightly, lightly flour your board. I say lightly because you don't want to dry out the dough so much that it gets all crumbly, you don't want that. So then what you do is you just sort of roll it into like a three quarter inch rope. You cut them, don't make them too big. These are a little bit on the bigger side, but it's fine. Ideally you would use a gnocchi board, but if you don't have one, just take the back of a fork, place your gnocchi on top and roll. That was not a very good, there we go. See, you see those ridges? You need those ridges because that's what's gonna help you that's what's gonna help the sauce adhere. So, like I said, ideally you'd make them a little tiny bit smaller, but you know, patience and me kinda don't go hand in hand, but you want to create those ridges, and then you're gonna put them on your baking sheet that's been lined with the lint-free kitchen towel. You might have to do just a couple of baking sheets because you don't want them to sit so closely together that they stick. Then you sprinkle a little flour on top, cover with another pa uh, paper, not paper towel, kitchen towel, and you let them sit and dry out for like an hour and a half to two hours. Um, and then we're gonna boil them up and we're gonna cook them and they're gonna be so fantastic. Just you wait. And they really are just delicious potato gnocchi made with leftover mashed potato. So I'm gonna make the whole batch. You don't have to make the full two pound version if you only have a little bit of mashed potato left, but they do freeze nicely before cooking. So at this point, I'm not gonna boil all of them. I'm just gonna boil half of them and then freeze the rest for a later date. So I'm just gonna continue to roll them. See these are a little bit smaller. See how much faster and better they come up. And I'm just gonna keep on rocking and rolling. My gnocchi have been sitting for a while. Now I just take my towel and then just kind of mix them around like that. I've got some boiling water here. And now here, I've got a skillet with some olive oil. Now these, you don't want to add the entire thing at once because they could, you know, you could risk them all sticking together. So what I, and they cook, I mean, within a minute, if that, once they sink to the bottom and then they float back up, that's how you know they're ready. So I just take a spider Terrible word for it, but that's what it's called. Uh, you could use any slotted spoon like this or a ladle, 
you just put a bunch in, make sure your water is well salted, should be as salty as the Mediterranean, and then add them in. Once they float, they are ready. So I'm just going to do a couple handfuls at a time, and then once they float, I'm going to take those, I'm going to put them in here. Once I put them in here, I'm going to toss them with the olive oil, and then I'll add the next batch, and then we'll add some marinara sauce and some Parmesan cheese, and then we serve. I'll show you, I'll show you when we combine everything. I added those in, that was my first batch. I'll show you what they look like when they float with this next batch because it happens so fast. I mean, don't walk away because you're gonna come back to overcooked gnocchi. So just add them in. I'm gonna add the rest of these because it's not, I'm only doing one sheet pan. I have another sheet pan that I'm gonna freeze. Add them in, make sure your water is really nice and salted. And they're gonna float. I mean, you don't even have to go anywhere because you're gonna see it, see it happen within the next few seconds. Now, by adding them in the oil, it kind of crisp them up, crisps them up a little bit and allows them to hold shape really nicely. So, look how beautiful. We're gonna add the rest of these to here in just a minute. And then we add the marinara sauce, parm, and we serve. See that? That was like what? 30 seconds. Shake, 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 shake any excess liquid. Add them in. They might just splatter a little, but it's fine. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a good lunch. If if you could come here right now, I'd invite you to my lunch. But you can't. Look at those gnocchi crispiness. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Add your marinara sauce, store bought, homemade, whatever you fancy. Oh my word. Come on. Give it to me. I mean, if you're not a gnocchi fan, I don't know where you've been your whole life. Because let me just tell you, you've been missing out. And now that you've got leftover plain old mashed potatoes around, you can make yourself that. Okay. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying. Is that not better? Is that like not the best thing that you can make with your leftover gnocchi? This is gonna be so hot though. And yes, I'm covered in sauce, but who cares? Oh my word. They literally melt. It's like a pillow of love. Mmm. That is the gnocchi I want. That is the gnocchi I love. That is the gnocchi of my dreams. And you can make it with leftover mashed potatoes. Huh. Please just go make this. LauraInTheKitchen.com. I have the breakdown for you. Hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I'm going to go serve this for lunch, and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm.